guys, this is Val and welcome back to Val's Kitchen. On the menu for today, I'm gonna do an updated curry chicken video. I have the chicken that I'm gonna clean. I know my thing already, I always have to have my vinegar because I don't have a lemon. So I always use the vinegar to just get on the rawness. Yes. And to clean my chicken. You know, anything that I don't, I don't want on the chicken. So I'm gonna just take out all like these, them parts here, you know. Must clean out them parts here. Yeah, guys? Must. Let me just show you, let me just cut off. And sometimes I say, boy, we're not sure everything on the video. They want, they want to see everything, so more time, I just, I just make myself available in the video and just show. It's curry chicken in a sort of half a take off the skin. It's curry, so you're not browning it, or you're not baking, or frying, or jerk, so you get rid of the skins. Okay? And most of the fat as much fat as I can guys try and, and get it off okay yes I will want size like let me show you size this size is good yeah I don't want it too big Okay. Yeah. So they're all right. But the, the um the leg part now is like leave on a little a little part here. I mean, I know. We just like leave on a little part here on my chicken leg. Don't have the, the little part. Don't have so. Yeah. If you want to cook your wing, this is a wing. If you want to cook it whole, you know you can cook it whole or whole. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the, the wing, you know, I'm gonna really take off everything off your side. I must know. I must leave on the little part here. You know. Yeah, so let me just wash this, clean it up, and just come back and show you. I'm gonna put the seasoning together for my curry chicken. So, guys, here is the chicken clean, ready to season. Here are the seasoning that I'm gonna put together I have scallion, onion, ginger, garlic, some dry rosemary, piece of thyme that creole up and it looks so it looks deadly, deadly, but I'm still gonna put it together, okay pimento seed and half tablespoon of salt. I have carrot and two potatoes. This is the curry that I'm gonna use. This is the Indian, Jamaican Indian curry. I put it in this bottle. All right, but you can use any curry of your choice. All right, guys, you can use any curry, but this is nice. This give me a nice flavor to have everything in it. Flavorful, colorful, Everything about the curry here because that is a um original Indian lady that made it. All right, here are the season that I'm gonna put, just blend it out. You know, if I have not enough fresh thyme and fresh um rosemary, if it even dry, because right now I, mean, I don't have any fresh thyme and the rosemary is not fresh, but it still have the flavor. I'm not using any sweet pepper. Yeah. Here is a pepper, but I'm not putting the pepper yet. So we don't rub in the season. I'm gonna put the pepper afterwards because my skin at least. <laughs> pepper that does burn me immediately. The pepper start burning. Mm -hmm. So let's get the seasoning in together and then just cut up the pepper. What is curry without pepper, guys? Tell me. 
curry without pepper is just flat. Yeah, you want a little spice in your curry to kind of turn it up a little. Not unbearable spice, you know, the spice, you know, flavor. Right? Yeah, can I set this aside for about an hour, guys? You know, make it soak a little and then come back and prepare the curry for it and show you the process that I'm gonna put the chicken through to get a perfect curry chicken, okay guys? So guys, I'm just gonna put a small amount of oil. It's the flavor of curry, guys. That's the flavor of a curry. Curry nice, you know, but you don't know. Seasoning can't too much, you have to certain meats, you know? Yeah, medium to low heat. I'm gonna use uh, four pounds of chicken. So I'm gonna use a full tablespoon. And just a little bit. Okay, not too much. Okay. The reason why I do the curry this way. Have, I know curry has some little green, some little residue, some little green green stuff. So when I burn it, when I do it this way, you know, kind of level it down, level it out. So when I, when I put, some people just throw the curry on the food, and the meat. Some people just put the curry on the meat, but I prefer to just get out some of the, some of the, the, the rough stuff from out of the curry. You know, if you know what I mean. Alright? Kind of tone it. Yeah. Just kind of cook it out first. Yeah. All right. Smelling so so nice. Yeah. Let's kind of start our process now of cooking our curry chicken, guys. I want to have some warm water, right? okay? At all times, I just cook in the meat. Guys, so make sure to every piece of chicken with some curry, all right? So I'm gonna just cover the pot and um, let it spring its own juices, all right? I'm gonna put it on the fire the first time opening back the pot. It was five minutes now, and see, it's doing its own juices. So guys, when you're cooking a curry chicken or a curry goat, they don't, as I put it on the fire, they don't dump in a whole heap of water in it. You just cover, the, cover it down and make it spring its own juices. You get a better result at the end. All right? Yes, so I'm gonna cover it back and make it take time and cook, all right? So this is after 16 minutes guys, still I don't put any water in it as yet, right? So we are going a perfect curry chicken, alright? So I'm going to put the potato and the carrot together. So maybe the next 10 minutes time we can put in our, or the next 5 minutes, yeah the next 5 minutes we can put in, put the the, the potatoes and the carrots, all right?
Now is the time, guys, when I'm gonna put some water, okay? For the first time put adding in the water because I'm gonna cook the vegetable now. The vegetable need to cook and plus we need gravy for our meat. Alright? Yes, yeah, so just put in this amount of water and it's warm water. Alright? Guys, the reason for the warm water, you want to keep the meat at the same temperature either because they say if you throw cold water on it, it will get back hard and if it, it will get all trashy. You know, I would not want that. We want a nice, perfect curry chicken. Alright guys, so let's put a little more. That's it. So this water now, we we'll finish cook the chicken and plus cook the vegetable. The next time guys, when you see me on camera, the chicken is gonna be finished. Curry chicken is gonna finally cook. Okay? Yeah. So guys, see, potato cook. Pork tender. Carrot. Guys, remember to taste your pot. Don't forget to taste your pot. So guys, I'm gonna turn off this to after five, over 45 minutes now, all right? Finally, I'm gonna turn it off. Consistency, see it? The vegetables are perfectly cooked. We don't want them mash up perfectly, all right? Turn off the stove. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Nice. So I'm gonna share a plate, guys. So guys, the curry chicken is finally here. You can put, you can cook this with some banana. You can use rice. Anything of your choice. You know, anything you want to eat your curry chicken with it. You can enjoy your curry chicken with anything of your choice. So like a display. So thanks again for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, guys. Share this video with someone who you know want to see how to do a perfect curry chicken. And guys, thanks again for watching. Please remember to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you will never miss an upload. Thanks again, guys, and bye.